Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna build a ball turner from this uh, three inch boring head. So let me show you what we're gonna use and we'll get started. All right, so first off, here is the boring head kit. So this one came with an R8 spindle. So we're actually gonna replace that. That's good for a milling machine, but we're trying to use this on the lathe. So we're gonna replace this arbor with a straight shank arbor, uh, three quarter inch. And what that's gonna allow us to do is use a boring bar holder for the lathe, quick change tool post. We're gonna, um, you could just use these steel bushings that tighten down, but I'm gonna replace it with these oilite bronze bearings. Uh, because this unit is going to go in here and turn back and forth. We have to make a handle for it. We're going to have to make a cutter head. So let's get to it. Okay, guys. So we're getting ready to tap this tool holder with M3 half, one half. Uh, this is a very small tap and when you have this much leverage with a handle you can break this very easy the taps are very very hard that's how they work so when you're pushing on this outside edge be gentle So the first thing we want to do is swap out these uh, bearings. So I'm going to loosen up these Allen head screws. Take out the old one. This is going to require a little bit of a tap. This is a lead hammer, by the way, so it's not going to mar up these bronze bearings. All right, so now that the bronze bearings are in, this will go in and spin smooth. All right, so the next part that we have to make is something to hold the back so that the boring head cannot slip out of the tool holder. So my idea is a, a, a countersunk bushing that will go in that we can thread and tap for the handle that's actually gonna be uh, what lets you turn this back and forth to control it on the lathe. So first things we're gonna do is the bushing, next thing we'll figure out is the handle. One quick thing before I forget, I'll link all the products, pieces, and parts of everything I use in this video in the video description.
right, so what we're going to do now is a quality of life adjustment. Uh, this is the depth screw. So as you turn this, the boring bar moves in and out. Um, but the way that we're using the boring bar, it needs to be flipped upside down to adjust. So what I'm going to attempt to do is drill in the backside. I don't have a rotary brooch, which would be the correct way to get a, um, a hex or Allen key in here. So we're limited. You could slot it, use a flathead. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing is drilling, tapping, and inserting a grub screw with uh, red Loctite so it's permanent. So we're going to attempt that. Um, I'm going to put this into a 5C collet backwards uh, and push it out. That'll give us just enough room to drill and then uh, thread, tap, um, and we'll be ready to go. Hopefully this works, we'll give it a try. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work, and we'll blast a, uh, a flat in there and use a flathead. One thing I'd like to clear up here is that I'm not actually using my hand on the boring head to turn it. I'm using the handle behind it. I'm just using my hand as a little bit of a reference for how much chatter I'm getting. Okay guys, let's get down to uh, brass balls here. Aluminum balls anyways. Uh, setting this up can be a little bit tricky. So here's what I came up with. I turned to center three quarter uh, that goes inside here and can be locked down so that I can level it out with my tailstock center. Then the other thing I do is I bring my Y in. After I face off the material, I use the center mark, bring the Y in to get it just, a, just this way of center, just, just to, towards myself of center. And then that screw that we uh, milled and or drilled and tapped allows us access to bring this up and down. So when you go to do this, make sure that you have your boring bar completely centered. Uh, not the bar itself, but the actual, this part of the unit centered on this part. That way you're getting the true center rotation uh, in line with your tailstock. So with those two things, uh, had really good results. There's a couple things that I would change immediately. Um, this brass piece back here, I would make longer to give me a little bit more clearance for my hand here because it's binding up on the uh, on the uh, quick change tool post. So it would give me just a little bit more room. Um, I'd make that longer and I'd make the handle longer so it's easier to control. Um, I possibly would have, if I was doing bigger balls than this, I would make another tool holder with a larger carbide uh, circle tool just to give it some more rigidity. Cause this tends to, when I was doing the stainless steel, I really wanted to chatter on me. So those are two things that I would definitely change. Um, but besides that, it works pretty damn good. Uh, the coolest thing about it is you can rip it apart and actually take it back and use it in the mill the way it's supposed to be used. Um, so I dig it, I dig it. Uh, if you have any comments or, or, or uh, critiques or any cool ideas, leave them in the comments. I'd, be, I'd love to hear them. Um, keep your ball comments to yourself, but, uh, hope you guys had a good one and enjoy this and, uh, I'm going to make some balls. Hey, couldn't help but notice you're still here. So go ahead and subscribe since you're here. You can also check out our Instagram right here. Come and check us out. Thanks for watching.